Great to see you. Thanks a lot for having us down to Clifton Lane. Uh, firstly, as we stand now, first month into 2017, how are you feeling about how the season's gone so far for the Titans? Oh, look, it's been pretty tough this year, to be honest with you. We've uh, had a ridiculous list of uh, injuries, but you know, that's life and you've got to get on with it. And, uh, you know, we, got, we had some familiar faces back on the park uh, on, on Saturday and we got a lot more come back this weekend. So, yeah, we're getting there. We're disappointed in... Uh, in our position in the table and, and because it's so close in the table those those you know London Scottish at home and Bedford away and the draw against Nottingham you know they're just so so tight games whereas if it had gone either way you're, you're in the top half of the table but you know that's the league structure isn't it well that's it as you say kind of you're 10th at the moment and you think oh dear but a yeah. couple of wins and you're up there what, what's the target now then what will be a good season now oh I still think you know we can finish middle of the table and that's definitely the target and you're right isn't it you know you look at that table and you think oh we're in 10th and you're in January and you think well you know we got Richmond all year Saturday which obviously we're excited about and you've still got Nottingham to come to us you've still got Bedford to come to us you've got Evening to come to us you know you you look at these games and yeah you know you've got to go down to Irish and we've got to go to Leeds but it's still in a grasp to finish in that sort of that uh, middle of the table scenario. Mention the big injuries this season that's obviously been a big challenge for you but what are your major challenges as a head coach at a club like Rotherham? Oh I think uh, I think the if you can look at it either way can you you can look at it as a challenge or you can look at it as just uh, an opportunity and what I mean by an opportunity you know, there's no hidden secrets uh, within within Rotherham. Uh, we can only cut the cloth accordingly, and I think that what that does in, in a place like this, youngsters who come here have to play, uh, and I think that's the message that constantly comes out. And that was something when I came here, I thought, well, you know that you're not going to be in that scenario where you were with London Welsh or Cardiff Blues, whereas if you have those injuries, you can just go out and and, and sometimes recruit a like for like. You know, and as we see in some of the other championship clubs, you know, they get an injury and all of a sudden a Super 15 player appears or an Australian international or, you know, a, a premiership player. Whereas where we're at, if we get injuries, you know, the lad from Ally Onions uh, appears or the lad from Leeds Beckett or somebody who's haven't been playing any rugby in a championship team. So that, that's the big thing. And I see that as an opportunity. I don't see that as a challenge. I see it as you have to... You've got to work, haven't you? In an environment like this, you're rolling the sleeves up. You're, you're all hands on deck, on and off the field. You had great success at London Welsh, getting them promoted to the Premiership a couple of seasons ago. Do you see some similarities with Rotherham in terms of the, the, the kind of the, the style of the actual club? Yeah, they do actually. Yeah, that, that's a very valid point as, as we look out the window here. You know, we were based at um, Old Deer Park. You know, and you know you have that traditional clubhouse like we've got here at Clifton Lane and. You know the field no different and and i think what what the massive similarities are is that whether it's on field or off field there's a very good family environment and you know you, you know just coming through the clubhouse there you know all the volunteers who come in you know on a daily basis to to clifton lane to to do all the the work you know the wear and tear of the clubhouse it, it's phenomenal you know and there's a massive similarity in my, uh, you know, I, I'm from a small club in that Va in Wales called Lantivadra, and um, it's no different. You know, you, you you have to roll your sleeves up in these kind of clubs, which hopefully will be something that never gets lost. You mentioned the volunteers; so many good ones here. Um, one in particular, the club doctor of 25 years, Chris Mears, recently uh, paid tribute to at the Rugby Writers uh, Dinner for his service to Rotherham. How important are the contributions to? for people like Chris and the other volunteers at clubs like the Titans? Oh, it's second to none, isn't it? You know, you, you, what you think of from, from the time I've sort of come to the club, you know, Chris, and we know the 25 years, but what strikes me with, with, uh, with him is the fact that, you know, he can't do enough for you. It's unbelievable, actually, you know, and, and I think sometimes, you know, when you've got lads coming in and you, you forget about those little sort of, you have to register with the GP and you've got to do things, but he does everything for the players, and what I mean by that, it's unbelievable. Twenty-five years—that is, you know, that that's an achievement within itself. And you know, I see the VPs on a regular basis at, at the club. You know, whether it's you know, fixing the seats in the stand or painting the club or doing something, they hear every day. You know, and that's a passion, isn't it? 
That's you know you you can't, you can't make somebody to do that. You've got to want to do that. They they get up in that morning with the enthusiasm and say right, I'm going to go down to Rotherham and I'm going to just you know do my little bit and uh, whether it's walking around picking up the rubbish there, they're unbelievable. Honestly, it, it, that's a massive eye opener. And it's an environment that's produced so many players that have gone on to play in the Premiership, play internationally. I know you'd always love to keep those top talents here at Rotherham and be in the top flight with them. But again, how much of a selling point to the club is that? That if players come here, they get a base where they can go on to bigger things, whether that's with Rotherham or someone else. Oh, it's massive, isn't it? I, I think what, what I like about it is that if you come to Rotherham and you play well, I mean, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Obviously, the, the, the Premiership clubs would know, would look at it and think, well, they're in Rotherham, they're playing regular, they're all in their own, they're not going to be... Uh, uh, on ludicrous figures like some championship club play so that that would be uh, one uh, added advantage but also what they see they see a young kid you know uh, you know some of the lads by the age of by the time they're 22 could have something like 50 uh, championship games and they belt in any other environment you know oh we'll have one game two game come off the bench play a bit of B&I cup if you're in rather than when you're good enough you were playing championship rugby week in week out and and i think for a young player who wants to mature you know pretty quickly it can't be a better place to come we mentioned like similarities with london welsh again a team you got promoted with um what's the plan for rather i mean is premiership a goal short medium term do, do bigger steps and concrete steps need to be put in place before that could maybe be a reality again i think i think that the, the word is ambition uh, and, and there's plenty of ambition within the club but but what you'll find with uh, Rotherham, um, they can only live within their means, uh, and they're very good at that. Whereas you know, it's like sometimes you can get quite carried away and try and live outside your means, and then unfortunately, what we've seen with Lender was, you know, that that's come back to haunt them a little bit. So what you find with um, Martin and Nick, you know, they're very grounded uh, gentlemen who, who, who absolutely die for the club, you know. Uh, but they're also realistic of uh, how much they can, you know, um, uh, how much they can put into the club as well. Uh, and, uh, and you know, without those two gentlemen, uh, would there be a, a Rotherham Titans? You know, that that would be a question because they are, you know, they're unbelievable what they do. You know the championship so well. What do you make the standard of it this season? And overall, how do you feel the health of it is? Well, I think it's a, it's a good league. It's an it's an uncompromising league. You know, when you when you when you think of. You know, uh, we've watched Richmond over the last couple of weeks and, and, and people would have a sort of a, an opinion then when they come up. You know, they're, they're a good side. I mean, there's, there's 12 teams in this league and yeah, we can say, you know, um, London Irish are out on their own. And rightly so, but we play them out here and I thought our set piece at Scrum Time was stronger, you know, and I just feel, you know, teams are pushing them. And, and then you look at Carnegie, you know, you look at Donny, you know, there's some good sides, Ealing again, you know, another team spending a lot of money. But then you, you can't forget of your Nottinghams, your Bedfords and your Pirate. You know, again, we, I don't think we've spoke about a bad team. Have we? There is no bad team, is there, in the Championship? And, and the standard is getting better. It's a lot better. I found when, we, when I was last in the Championship with London Welsh, there was a significant gulf from the top of the league to the bottom. I don't think there's a, 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 a significant gulf this year. And um, you mentioned the rather than bringing so many Yorkshire players through, whether it's from Hull Ionians or Leeds Beckett and places mm. like that, how important do you think from, from your time here Rugby Union is within Rotherham, but the, the county as a whole? How, how important is a successful Rugby Union bed? Oh, yeah, you know, you think of, you know, you think of last weekend, you know, uh, it was sort of labelled as a bit of a dead rubber. I think they announced in, in the end there was like 1,500 people watching the game, you know? You know, and I'd imagine if you compared that to perhaps another Champions game, it would be more people watching, you know, Doncaster and um, and and Rotherham, you know, that that day than than the Championship game. And when we played um, Carnegie out here, you know, I think I don't know, I think it might, might have been our biggest gate today. So it's a lot of you know a lot of history here, isn't it? And what I mean by that, it, it just it bodes well, doesn't it? You know, we do quite a bit with um, Chef Tigers, and we do a bit with. Um, Ionians, you know, and you know all uh, Yorkshire teams, but yeah, it's you know three championship teams, you know, you know it's in Yorkshire it isn't a bad thing, is it? You know, I guess you got Nottingham sort of on the borders a bit there as well. We don't let them in though. Yeah, they don't quite count. <laughs> You're speaking so passionately, Justin, about Rotherham. You've been here just over a year now. Yeah. Well, um, 
what is it that's kind of got you about this club then? I think the, the big thing, uh, I'm married to a, a Yorkshire lass, so that, 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 that was an attraction. My, um, my mother and father know, and my brother know, and, and all the family, they live in, um, in Stamford Bridge, you know, which is just 40 minutes up the road, so that's a big thing. Uh, it's great to see sort of my, uh, my brother-in-law straight away sponsors one of the players, so there's interest there. My, my father and all comes along. So, yeah, I, I've got a, I've got a, apart from sort of enjoying myself, I've also got a sort of a, a connection with, with Rotherham, you know, with, uh, within Yorkshire, which is something I'm also very proud of, and, and so are my children. So, my son very rarely misses a game here, you know, he got his Rotherham stuff on and he's out there, you know, being the ball boy. So, yeah, got a huge uh, amount of connection here. What about the squad, particularly when they're all fit? Again, you, you've, you've coached at the very highest level. What, what do you think about the, the talent of the lads you've got in this squad? Oh, I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if two or three players this year, considering our position in the league, would uh, go on to Premiership clubs. I'd be, I would not be surprised. And it'd be quite interesting to see, isn't it, a team uh, uh, as lowly as we are at the moment, then manages to push players into Premiership Rugby. So there's something got to be, something we're doing right here, isn't it?